Today we are at the Museum of the Red River in Idabel, Oklahoma. We're just 77 miles west of Arkansas's Crater of Diamonds State Park. So if you're visiting the Crater of Diamonds in Murfreesboro, this is really a great place you can catch. You know, 77 miles isn't far when you're on vacation and you're traveling. So come this way and see what they have. For one thing, the building is amazing architecture, but what's inside is really fascinating. And there is a tie to the Crater of Diamonds State Park. And I'll show you that in just a little bit. Uh, it's not diamonds. I'll tell you that as a hint. But this is a, a fantastic structure and really, really has some neat stuff inside of it. Um, I find this fascinating. It looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's a giant lizard that was excavated near here. And I'll have to get a little help uh, saying the name. It's a Acrocanthosaurus <coughs> atokinesis. But it's a, a giant lizard, which dinosaur means giant lizard, but this is a big meat-eating animal and 50% of these bones were excavated near here and these are uh, replicas of the bones that were made, you know, molds were made of the bones and this was recreated and they actually found many of the teeth and that would be something you wouldn't want to mess with if that was alive and eating. Uh, this looks like a, a vicious dinosaur, but it's huge. Really is huge. So if you come here, take a look at it, but also be sure to catch all this fascinating Native American pottery. Many of this, much of this looks like Anastasi pottery to me, but a fascinating collection here. And uh, you can walk by and they have a lot of things stored here behind all these moving cabinets as well. There's two-dimensional art, but mainly a lot of three-dimensional art to see here. So besides pottery, you have the baskets. And we're just doing a quick run-through because I want to take you over and show you the tie into the Crater of Diamond State Park. Uh, these are absolutely huge vessels and some of you people might appreciate this was used for making beer in. So uh, they went with uh, large volume. Now, here's the tie-in. When you come, open these drawers and look. There are a lot of great things in these drawers that pull out. And this is a tie-in to the Crater of Diamonds State Park. So, directly west. If you're at the Crater of Diamonds search field and you went, excuse me, straight south of the State Park and crossed the Little Missouri River, this is where all these were in an Indian village. These are AG points uh, recovered from the Kazaya site. But there were Indian mounds there and these are amazing, fine, small, uh, real craftsmen made these AG points. And just look at the varied colors and the quality. See that shape? That's an AG. A-G-E-E. -E from the Kaziah site, just a quarter mile south of the Crater of Diamonds search field. If you were to, able to walk across the Little Missouri River, that's what you would see. Uh, another tie-in to Murfreesboro and Crater of Diamonds State Park, uh, the Kadoha Indian Village is owned by Sam and Dolly Johnson, and they donated some of this amazing pottery, uh, this one with the bone effigy, was donated by Sam and Dolly Johnson of Kandohaw Indian Village. 
some just some amazing things to see here. I love to look and learn and uh, this is the place to come. So check out the Museum of the Red River at Idabel, Oklahoma, just 77 miles west of the Crater Diamond State Park.